It's been a tough one and a half year for Taiwan. The island nation, which China claims as its own estranged province, has battled not just the COVID-19 pandemic but has also been on a high alert due to the growing aggression of Chinese armed forces. Since when the pandemic first broke out, Taiwan set an example for the world to follow. It contained the virus spread incredibly, never letting its guard down. Taiwan helped the world with health equipment. However, Taiwan has been facing a shortage of COVID-19 vaccines due to China blocking supplies of international jabs to the island nation. Now, Taiwan has broken free of such a blockade. It does not need foreign vaccines. It has its own now. Hi and welcome. This is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Sanbir Ranhotra and in this video, I will tell you how Taiwan has successfully destroyed China's vaccine blockade. Let's begin. Taiwan was being cornered by China in terms of vaccines not very long ago and the government in Taipei was complaining about the same. Taiwan provided the most developed model to deal with the pandemic throughout 2020. Notwithstanding its small size, it was willing to provide humanitarian medical assistance to countries all over the world. However, when Taiwan needed the world to come to its rescue a few months ago, it was left abandoned and in a desperate drought for COVID-19 vaccines. China has been lobbying around the world, especially in vaccine manufacturing nations, to block vaccine exports to Taiwan. China had effectively put in place a vaccine blockade on Taiwan. Beijing insisted that Taiwanese citizens be inoculated using Chinese vaccines, an offer which Taipei refused at the very outset, owing to the hazardous nature of Chinese jabs. Further, China would have used its vaccine diplomacy to strong-arm Taiwan and convince the world that Taiwanese people are being vaccinated with China's vaccines because they too are Chinese citizens. However, Taiwan has now dealt a fatal blow to such plans by rolling out a domestic vaccine against COVID-19, developed by Medigen Vaccine Biologics Corp. According to Taiwan Food and Drug Administration Director Wu Xiaomei, preliminary data of the vaccine is showing a seroconversion rate in the 90th percentile, which is far better than the fatal cocktails which China is parading around the globe as vaccines. More than 1 million people have signed up for Medigen, and many of them appear to be younger Taiwanese or foreigners. This despite a misinformation campaign being waged by China against the Taiwanese vaccine, leading to all sorts of rumors circulating within the island nation. Chinese language press of the country has waged an all-out campaign against the domestically produced vaccine. On Monday, President Tsai Ing-wen led the way in receiving the Medigen jab, a proof that has certainly softened public skepticism regarding the vaccine. The domestically developed and manufactured vaccine will help Taiwan not rely on the world to chip in a meager number of doses from time to time. Taiwan is no longer at the mercy of any foreign nation and has truly achieved vaccine independence. For the first time in May, Taiwan directly accused China of blocking a deal with German firm BioNTech for COVID-19 vaccines. Taiwan was close to sealing the deal with the German plant, but because of China's intervention, we still can't sign the contract, the island nation's president Tsai Ing-wen said in a meeting of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party. When China implemented a near-vaccine blockade on Taiwan, it was Japan that came to the island nation's rescue. In June, Japan delivered to Taiwan 1.24 million doses of AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccines for free. Taiwan never wants to be in a position where it relies on other countries for COVID-19 vaccines. And with the rollout of a domestic vaccine that seems to have much better efficacy than Chinese cocktails, Taipei has put all of Xi Jinping's demented plans into a deep pit. In June, China said it would welcome Taiwanese people to come to the mainland and get vaccinated against COVID-19 and called on Taiwan to remove obstacles and allow its people to receive the highly effective Chinese shots. A month prior, Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party said China's comment that Taiwan would not succeed in using vaccines to seek its independence showed China was the black hand behind the scenes, preventing Taiwan from getting access to vaccines internationally. China can do nothing now, as the incredible Taiwan model is brought into use for inoculating Taiwanese citizens with domestic COVID-19 vaccines which are safe and which work. 